This is an advanced beginner project that requires briolette wrap, wrapped wire loop, opening and closing jump rings, and stringing. The finished earrings are about 3 inches long including the ear wires, but you can shorten them by omitting rows of sequins. For this project you will need one pair of ear wires, 16 6 by 4 millimeter oval jump rings, two 3 inch pieces of 22 gauge wire, two colors of 19 millimeter oval payette sequins with a top drill. In those two colors you're going to need eight of color A and eight of color B. You'll also need two 12 by 20 millimeter crystal briolette drops. These are Preciosa crystal and the color is Crystal AB. As tools for this project you will need two pair of chain nose pliers, either two chain nose or in this case I have a chain nose and a bent chain because that's what I prefer, round nose pliers, and wire cutters. Begin by threading your briolette onto your piece of wire. Just about an inch in from the right side. You're going to end up with a short side on the right and a long side on the left. With your fingers, push up first the short end and then the long end to form an X over the apex of the peak of your crystal with the short one behind. With your thumbnail, Make a bend in the long wire just above the apex of the crystal so that it goes straight up and in the same place on the short wire so that it points out to your left. Turn the crystal so that the long end is facing over to the left and roll the crystal over so that the short wire is on top and facing up. With your round nose pliers, grasp both wires just below the bend and using your chain nose pliers begin a wrap. You're going to end in the down position. Two wraps should be sufficient. Clip your wire close to the wrap. With the hole facing you, go ahead and start a wrapped wire loop just above the wraps you just made with your round nose pliers. Wrap that loop. The two ends should meet. Clip your wires close and then push in your ends with your chain nose pliers so that they don't stick out. Set your crystal aside for a moment. With one set of chain nose pliers in each hand, open your first jump ring. Add it to the loop on your briolette. Close it. Set your crystal aside for a moment and open another jump ring. it to the closed jump ring on the crystal. Add one color A sequin to the left side of the jump ring and one color A sequin to the right side of the jump ring and then close the jump ring. You should end up with one sequin on either side of the crystal. From here on out, it really helps to set your work down with the last jump ring you closed facing up if possible. This is for easier access. Open a jump ring. Add it to the last jump ring you closed, making sure that there is a sequin on either side of the crystal, not two on one side. Close the jump ring.
Open the next jump ring. Add it to the empty jump ring on the top of your work. Add one color B sequin to the left side of the jump ring and one color B sequin to the right side of the jump ring. Close the jump ring. You can begin to see how the sequins and crystal are going to overlap. Open the next jump ring. Add it to the last jump ring at the top of your work. Again, making sure that the sequins are split one to each side. Close the jump ring. Note that there will always be an empty jump ring in between the jump rings with the sequins. This is for spacing purposes. Open the next jump ring. Add it to the empty jump ring on the top of your work. Add one color A sequin to the left side of the jump ring and one color A sequin to the right side of the jump ring. Close the jump ring. Add one more empty jump ring to the top of your work. Making sure that there is a sequin on either side of the jump ring. Close the jump ring. Open one last jump ring and add it to the closed jump ring at the top of your work. Add one color B sequin to the left side of the jump ring and one color B sequin to the right side of the jump ring. Close the jump ring and set your work aside for a moment. You're almost done. Pick up an ear wire. Note that for many ear wires of basic style, the loop runs parallel to the shaft and opens on the shaft side. Grasping the curve and the shaft of your ear wire firmly between your thumb and forefinger, grab across the loop with your chain nose pliers and keeping your left hand steady, turn the loop 180 degrees. You should end up with a loop facing outward and with the shaft and curve facing away from the loop like so. Here you see the modified ear wire on the left and the original configuration on the right. Open the ear wire loop and attach the top loop of your sparkly dangle. Close the ear wire loop and you're done with one. Repeat for the other side.